the most common injuries we see in tripod dogs are separated into two separate categories. So dogs who have front limb amputations, the most common injury we see with a front limb amputation is the limb that's remaining gets injuries to the wrist. So the muscles on the back of the wrist have to bear more weight when you've removed one of the limbs. In dogs with four legs, they carry 60% of their body weight on their front limbs and they split it pretty much 30-30 each limb. But when you remove one of the legs, now one of the limbs has to carry the full 60% of the load. In order to do that, they simply need to be stronger. So if we like to prevent them from getting carpal hyperextension injuries, which means the carpus gets lax and it stretches too much, we should start strengthening exercises straight away. So here at CSU, what we do is have dogs start on exercises at their two week post-operative appointment. And they do very specific exercises to strengthen their wrist. For example, they would place their front paws up on a box and then we'd have them do a dog push up or lure their nose down to the box and then back up. So they're strengthening the muscles in their wrist. For dogs who have hind limb amputations, the most common injury we see is pain of their hip joint. So for dogs with a hind limb amputation, where their legs normally kick out behind them when they're walking, because they only have one leg, they have to keep that one leg always underneath their body. And when they do that, the muscles in the front of their hips get tight. When the muscles in the front of their hip get tight, that can predispose them to hip muscle injuries and low back injuries. To try to prevent that, we can have those dogs start exercises as soon as their, their incisions are healed. For example, having them place their front feet up on a high surface. So their front feet up on a chair or a stool. So they're having to extend their hip and open the muscles in the front of the hip while they're strengthening their gluteal muscles to help prevent hip and low back problems in hind limb amputees.